The uh, Philippines is planning to step up its crackdown on tax evasion. The finance minister there, Carlos Dominguez, telling Bloomberg that more companies will be targeted. He also said that he expects a wide-reaching new tax reform bill to be passed by year's end. It could net the government $2.6 billion. Our program really needs at least 134 billion pesos uh, of sure funds. And uh, we believe that uh, they will come around to uh, seeing the wisdom of uh, following our version as well as the version of the House. How confident, confident are you that this will get implemented in January? I'm 100% confident it will be. The president is fully behind us. And uh, he has said that uh, this is a signal uh, measure that uh, will allow the Philippines to break through it's uh, it's very poor uh, performance in the past, uh, and it will allow us to really uh, bring bring down poverty uh, and allow us to go into our massive infrastructure program. You said in August that the president would be likely to veto any kind of watered-down bill. Is that still an option, though, if you need to find compromises to get this very important? reform bill through Congress? I don't think it will come to that. I think the legislature will deliver on uh, on what the president needs. Is, are there any provisions you'd be willing to give up in order to get this through? At this point in time? Yes. Of course, I won't say it in public. <laughs> I will, will reserve that for the bicam discussions. Okay. I want to get to this issue of tax evaders, another very important part of the program that... I beg your pardon? Tax evaders, some of the tax big evaders. tax evaders and what you're doing there. Um, you sold off the cigarette maker Mighty to Japan, uh, tobacco. Um, any other big evaders on your screen? No, first of all, we did not sell it off to Japan. Uh, to we Japan tobacco. caught them. Mm -hmm. We caught them uh, cheating on taxes. We build them uh, 38 billion pesos, and uh, they came back to us with a compromise agreement uh, that yielded 30 billion to the government, about around 600 million U.S. dollars. That is the single largest uh, tax collection from an individual or a company ever in the Philippines. So we've agreed to that. They also uh, told us that they would sell their operations uh, to uh, Japan Tobacco, uh, to which we agreed, and they are now out of the business. Any other others on your screen, on your radar screen? Yes, we did. We have. Want to tell us who? No. Industries? <laughs> yes? No. Okay. Well, let's no, but, but we are on a roll, and uh, this is part of the president's program to make our country more law-abiding, as I mentioned to you. And tax evasion is a really serious violation of the law, and we are going after them. We are also going after people who do not necessarily owe taxes, but who owe the government uh, uh, money. And uh, those people are also in our, in our target list.